So today I decided to convert caffeine and hydrous powder into the caffeine crystals because I like the crystals and also crystals have sharp kinetics. So there are many methods to do that but I will be focusing mainly on two methods which you can do at home and first method is melt and cool and that's actually not going to be melt because caffeine has sublimation point at 160 to 170 degrees celsius and uh, 240 degrees celsius or 270 degrees celsius melting point but you need to understand that this kinetic points will change depending on which polymorph structure you are talking about and also depending on uh, impurities in your caffeine So make sure you have very pure form of powder and do this process so don't do like the way i am doing right now okay in this candle and heating it openly because it everything is going to vaporize and i have watch glass so there is advantage that few of vapor will catch on the watch glass and there will be a crystal and actually i don't care here for product loss because i am making this I am doing this method because making a precursor crystal for that solvent method in the solvent recrystallization you drop your crystal and it, it provides surface for other crystal to grow that's why I am just doing this method all right so you you will see in few moment uh, there will be vapors coming out of the powder and I would suggest that you should catch that if you want to have a good crystals or you don't want to lose your product or you can do the same way I am I, I am doing you may you lose this matter for making precursor crystal all right so now I lost my patience and I am going to fire it up very fast you can see everything turned into vapor without being without uh, turning into liquid and that's what we call a sublimation but also there are crystals because the vapor are caught on the watch glass surface because watch glass have curved surface correct so I, I got a few crystal and this is enough for making a precursor crystal or making uh, too many crystals in the solvent process I am heating it again just to be, just to be sure that there were crystals all right so we will look at it into the microscope okay so you can see the crystals in the microscope yes see the small small crystals are there because the vapor were condensed okay so solvent method is a different in which we make a saturated caffeine solution all right and after that there is two parts the method 2.1 uh, sorry method 2.a is that of fast evaporation and two is a slow evaporation both have their good and bad and right now i am going to do a fast evaporation all right on the first evaporation what we do is we heat up or we evaporate entire solvent via heat and i would not recommend if you want a very beautiful crystals because in the first evaporation if you are evaporating water very quickly then the there will be a bump between the caffeine crystals because water will be escaping in between so your crystals won't look good and you can also see the crystals are forming here okay the as as the water is evaporating the crystals are forming there all right so this is our end product first evaporation and we will look at it into the microscope see the crystals are very beautiful compared to the first method which we did if you remember all right look at this web the crystal web now i will be showing you the slow evaporation what we do in slow evaporation is that we just heat up the solution and let it evaporate by itself not by heating and you can see the crystal structure how beautiful is that and the this method we drop our previously made precursor crystal into the saturated solution you see and it provides other crystal surface to grow okay it acts as a surface for other crystals to grow and as you can see the crystals are growing on top of it and this is one of the my other previous one 
okay this is not the current one and this is actually the current one you can see the how crystal are in this shape this is actually a crystal version it looks like and it looks whitish because there is a water trap between and you can see in the microscope the what kind of crystals are there and this is the, my previous build uh, where i actually you let it evaporate without heating at all uh, it took two weeks uh, but you can see the crystals they, these are the actually very beautiful crystals and this is when i dropped a few ml saturated solution into the candle